In this video about eClinical Work Scribe function, I'm going to show you a list of more of these scribe commands. Again, I have a progress note open with the scribe window open on the left, progress note open on the right. Again, this is accessed with these tabs here. This is a regular progress note view. If you click the scribe tab, you will then see the scribe window appear. To get a list of many, but not all of the scribe commands, hover over this button, Help. When you click on it, this window appears, and you can see several of the commands. Uh, it lists them here. These commands are also available in the user's guide from eClinical Works, and I will show you how to access that. Some of these commands incl include ordering different labs and studies, sending orders, editing a template. You can pull in your last progress note and edit that. Using a template, which I will demonstrate. Importing and verifying history, which I will also demonstrate. Assigning progress notes, locking progress notes, listing order sets, diagnoses, and you can add CPT and ENM codes as well. You can merge default sections of the note as well. This is an incomplete list, but this does show the majority of the commands that you might give. To get a more complete list, I would recommend that you go to the user's guide, which is available on the website my.eclinicalworks.com. I'm going to click over there now. And here I have opened my.eclinicalworks.com. I'm going to go back to the start page to show you how to get there. You will need to log in. I have already logged in. If you don't have a login, you need to talk to your account manager or administrator with your clinic so they can set you up with a login. If you don't have one, I would very strongly recommend you get one because there's a lot of information above and beyond just scribe. Once you're logged in, you go to the knowledge link. This will open up a new window and we want to go to documents and videos. This usually takes a moment to load, but we will see a list of all of the videos and uh, text available. We're going to go to EMR and click the plus button and it will expand into the available options. In this case, we're actually going to go to companion products because Scribe is a companion product. When you click it, you can actually see several of the companion products and if you use any of these other ones, I would really strongly recommend that you check them out. They regularly update the videos as well as the help files. We're going to go to eClinical Works Scribe, and what you can see is eClinical Works has actually released several videos. Some of them are quite new. These are just from one month ago because these also talk about integrating Scribe along with the eClinical iPad app as well as the Dragon Anywhere Dragon in the Cloud application. A lot of what I'm reviewing in these, my videos are shown here as well. So I'd recommend that you review these too. Also, if you go to the eClinic Org Scribe User's Guide, then you can download this guide. It's about 40 pages long, and it shows a lot of the commands. I've already downloaded it and have it open in another tab, which I'm going to flip to now. And you can see this is 38 pages long. Towards the end, which is where I am right now, it actually shows you names of the major scribe commands and then a description of how you would use these. This is quite helpful. I'm going to demonstrate using multiple commands all at once in another video, which will help you speed up some time. So for now, I would recommend go to the my.eclinicalworks.com website, follow the directions I just showed you to get to this page that shows all of the documentation that eClinicalworks has. While you're there, go ahead and take a look at the other products that they have as well. There's a lot of really great information and a lot of videos on it.